Hello, welcome to SpringShare's virtual booth. I wish we could be speaking in person today, but I'm so glad you've dropped by. In case you're not familiar with SpringShare, we're the makers of Librarian First cloud software trusted by over 6,000 libraries in 80 countries. We're here to help you thrive in today's digital first environment with seven platforms. LibGuides is our flagship product. In 2007, it put us on the map for providing librarians with a no-coding required web publishing tool designed with their unique needs in mind. Over the years, we've added the LibGuide CMS subscription for sites that want expanded customization options, permissions features, and LTI integration. And eReserves, our online course materials management tool that natively integrates with LibGuides and your LTI compliant learning management system like Blackboard, Canvas, and Moodle. With LibCal, you can easily manage in-person and online events, appointments, and reservable spaces and equipment. LibAnswers with LibChat is our multi-channel communication platform, and we'll spend the majority of our time today introducing its features and highlighting our new 24-7 chat cooperative. LibWizard wraps up our patron-facing tools as a forms, surveys, quizzes, and tutorials builder. Meanwhile, LibStaffer, LibInsight, and LibCRM boost library productivity by creating easier ways to schedule staff, collect and analyze library usage data, and manage library relationships with community members, students, and faculty. You can add as many products to your subscription as you need, and all together, they make up the SpringShare suite, one cost-effective subscription with access to the entire LibApps platform. All right, let's head over to LibAnswers. LibAnswers with LibChat is our all-in-one communication platform. You can access it from your public-facing LibAnswers site and add it to virtual touchpoints like your LibGuides, blog, or Facebook page so you can talk to your patrons and they can talk to you. Because no matter how great your website is, sometimes your patrons can feel lost and confused. LibChat is a live chat tool for patron engagement that connects your library to patrons in real time. And with our 24-7 chat cooperative, your virtual doors never have to close. Plus, extra help can be there when you need it. In our co-op, libraries around the world lend each other a hand across LibAnswers sites to answer each other's patrons' questions. We also have a team of SpringShare MLS accredited librarians to ensure there's no gap in coverage. Co-op libraries can contribute hours or not, and there are currently three different specialties, academic, public, and Spanish speaking. And we have plans for more options like law and medical. Optionally, libraries can choose to create their own local cooperative. We'll come back to chat and cooperative specific features, but let's take a few minutes to explore the rest of the LibAnswers platform first. The mobile first system includes a 24 seven full text searchable knowledge base of FAQs so your patrons can get the answers they need when they need it, even if it's 4 a.m. With integrated social media management, you can streamline activity from your Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest accounts into one place. LibAnswers with LibChat also has full help desk ticketing functionality. Pull customer interactions like emails, text messages, question form submissions, and Facebook Messenger and Twitter DMs into one place so communication is seamless personal and efficient. Record phone, in-person, and online reference transactions in one place with the Reference Analytics tool. You can access it from anywhere, and it integrates with other components of LibAnswers from tickets to chats. Finally, communicate website, catalog, and vendor outages or planned updates with the LibAnswers System and Services Management tool. Now that we've explored all the other components within LibAnswers, let's take a deep dive into LibChat. On the patron side, users have a wide variety of widget types they could be interacting with. In-page widgets, button-style pop-out widgets, slide-out tab widgets, and floating widgets. There's no limit to the number of chat widgets you create, and each one has a ton of customization options, so you can collect information like name, email, and student status up front, or allow anonymous chats. Let them make the first move or create a proactive chat widget that prompts them after a customizable period of time. Utilize fallbacks, so a widget connected directly to me falls back to the reference department when I'm offline. Co-op libraries can assign a cooperative to answer the chat, and they can choose how long to wait before it's sent to the co-op, so a local librarian can have the chance to answer it if they're available. 
Bottom line, you have a lot of customization options before your users even engage in a chat. Let's take a look at how this appears on the staff side. At the top of the dashboard, you can set your status. If you need to step away for a few minutes, set yourself away, go offline at the end of your shift, or if you want to be available for internal chats only, set your status to internal. Claim new chats in the chats tab. View all of the chat departments you're currently assigned to, and libraries can create as many departments as they like. This helps reduce the signal to noise ratio so you won't see chats for departments you don't need to monitor. Click any department to view all assigned operators and start an internal chat with everyone assigned to it. This is great for alerting others of chat trends you might be noticing. In the settings tab, you'll see the option to monitor your local departments and co-ops. Click any department to go offline or online in the local chat widgets assigned to them. Turn on ticket notification alerts to monitor any email, text, and social media tickets that may come in in addition to chats. When a patron chat comes in, you can choose to be alerted via browser alerts, sounds, and even desktop notifications if enabled. In the Co-op tab, choose to go online or offline to answer chats coming into the cooperative. They'll appear in the Chats tab, just like your local chats, with some extra features to help you access their local library information. We have a new chat. Let's claim it to see how this looks. The home icon indicates it's from your local library. For every incoming chat, view where the user is when they started it and which department it was sent to, along with their browser and operating system information. During the chat, add formatting and emojis to your outgoing chats, sender optionally receive file uploads, search for answers within FAQs, and quickly copy and paste their links into the conversation. If you need to follow up with a patron at a later time, request their full contact information. This allows you to see their patron details, including all previous chats and tickets that you've had with them. During the chat, you can request a screen sharing session with a patron. Our screen sharing tool engages users on all platforms from PC to Mac, in Chrome to Firefox, and on all mobile devices. You can even enable video and microphone sharing. Record the screencast session and send it to them afterwards. Plus, use screen sharing during internal chats too. At any time, you can ban the patron, transfer the chat to another department or operator, or add an internal note to the chat transcript. At the end of the chat, optionally record reference analytics. If it needs follow-up, create a ticket and send it to the queue or person to answer it. Okay. It's really easy to jump between multiple chats as the alerts let you know when a new message is waiting for you to read it. Let's take a quick look at a chat coming into the co-op. It'll show up right where your local chat appears, and there's a line letting you know which co-op is answering the question. Once you claim the chat, you have a special policy page and set of 24-7 FAQs provided by the local library. This gives you access to its website URLs, database access information, library policies, and any other information it thinks you'll need to answer the patron's questions. And if the question needs to be followed up by the local library, you can easily create a ticket so someone can get back to the patron. All chats are tracked and analyzed in LibAnswers, giving you insight into your virtual reference services operations. These stats let you know what types of questions people have, where they started them, and when they need help the most. See which widgets bring in the most chats and answerer stats. View detailed transcripts and turn them into tickets for further follow-up or email them to a colleague if you have questions. Optionally, Turn on privacy scrubbing to strip out patron identifiable information on a rolling time period and anonymize transcripts. Co-op members can easily see which patron questions were answered by a co-op librarian. They can rate the chat interaction and provide any feedback or additional information to the co-op librarian who answered it. Did you step away from your desk while chat came in and you missed it? View your missed chat stats to see which ones weren't answered. Turn them into tickets so you'll never have to miss an opportunity to engage with the user again. Co-op libraries have their own area where they can see specific statistics and monitoring activity. There, they can drill down into account, institution, and co-op activity, view co-op feedback by operator and organization, and access co-op specific statistics. LibAnswers with LibChat is our all-in-one communication platform bringing librarians and their patrons closer together. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your virtual conference.